With such a saturated Division 2 build video collection here on YouTube, it's hard for players to differentiate between clickbait and genuine meta setups which enable efficient clearing of even the highest difficulty activities currently available. In an effort to fix this, in this series I'll be reviewing and showcasing a collection of meta builds which are used regularly by the game's top players to clear raids, legendaries and everything in between in a matter of minutes. I won't be covering any in-depth maths in this series to keep it simple and digestible, but I'll put some links in the description for places that you can find clear, objective information if that tickles your fancy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. With all that said, let's get into it. Welcome to episode 1 of Changing the Game. In this episode, I'll be covering the Regulus and the three main meta builds which use it to its maximum potential. Annihilating ad spawns, face tanking solo legendaries in a 6 red build, and one shotting raid bosses. Firstly, let's look at what the Regulus is and what its talent does. The Regulus is an exotic pistol acquired from the Iron Horse raid on normal difficulty. It's a quest exotic, so it's a guaranteed drop, but you'll need to complete some projects over a minimum of two weekly resets in order to acquire it and run the raid twice. The talent is simple yet so effective. Upon headshot kill, it creates an explosion which deals 400% weapon damage in a 5 meter radius. As the Regulus has the highest base damage of any pistol in the game, this explosion actually does a significant amount and on lower difficulties can outright one-shot an entire spawn with one bullet. So now we've covered off what the Regulus is and briefly looked at where to get it, let's take a look at builds and variations on those builds. Firstly, let's cover the most used talent for Regulus and look at the variations and the situations they work best in. So what's the most used talent, I hear you ask? Of course, it's Headhunter. So what exactly is Headhunter? What does it do and how does the Regulus benefit from it? Headhunter is a chest talent which grants 125% or perfect 150% of your last killing blow's damage to the next shot provided you got a headshot kill. This stacks up to a maximum cap of 800% of your base weapon damage if you're under 150% headshot damage or 1250% if you're over it. Headhunter is well known for its potential to ramp up stacks and one-shot even the tankiest enemies in the hardest difficulties, but until the Regulus was released it was a talent nearly exclusively used on marksman rifle builds. You'll notice that I mentioned the Regulus talent only procs on headshot kills, and that Headhunter follows the same pattern, along with granting damage to one-shot all enemies leading to repeated explosions with minimal effort. I probably don't even need to point out the synergy there. So the first iteration of pairing this weapon with this talent to hit the community was what's now referred to as high-end Regulus Headhunter, or as you may see it online, HE Reg HH. This build consists of 4-5 to five named items and an exotic, meaning it's not the most new player friendly build, but it's worth the grind. Firstly, we have the Punch Drunk Mask. This grants a named attribute of 20% headshot damage, alongside a brand set bonus of 20% pistol damage, which will affect your raw shots, headhunter cap, and your regular explosion damage. The second roll on the mask is up to you, but I'd recommend going for either weapon handling or critical hit chance. The mod will be headshot damage. Next, we've got the chain killer chest piece. This chest piece has the perfect version of the headhunter talent. It's worth noting that the perfect variant doesn't actually do anything other than give you a slight increase to the rate at which you reach the maximum cap of headhunter, so it's not necessary. But that said, the brand set bonus of 5% weapon damage will also beef up your regular explosion and maximum headhunter cap. Rolls on this will be headshot damage, then weapon handling or critical hit chance. Mod is headshot damage. For holster, you'll be running Dodge City. The talent on this grants a stacking buff which over 30 seconds without your pistol drawn will grant 1000% weapon damage to your first pistol shot upon drawing it. This is huge for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it will give you maximum headhunter stacks on a single shot, saving the need for stacking on weaker enemies, and secondly, the bonus weapon damage will give your regular explosion a massive damage boost, which will enable you to one-shot entire ad doors in a single shot on pretty much any difficulty. This holster is a must-have on this build, and is now viewed by the community as the only reason to opt for a high-end Regulus Headhunter build. For Backpack, we're going with Providence, with Vigilance as a talent. Vigilance will give you a 25% total weapon damage buff as long as you don't take damage, and Providence will grant you 15% intrinsic headshot damage which will help you to gain stacks. Rolls on this piece will be headshot damage, then weapon handling or crit hit chance, with a headshot damage mod. Optionally, you can run the named backpack, The Gift, on this build, but if you don't have it, don't worry. It's a tiny and in my opinion pointless named item, which just grants a 1 second reduction on the cooldown should you take damage. 
For gloves, we're using Contractor's Gloves for the damage to armor. Damage to armor has an odd interaction with Headhunter and is the only multiplicative stat which has a significant effect on your damage at max stacks. These are a must have even with the loss of a brand set bonus. The roll on these will be headshot damage. Similarly, for knee pads, we'll be running Fox's Prayer. These do not have a significant effect on the max stack damage of Headhunter, but they do help with gaining stacks should you drop. Again, rolls will be headshot damage. Skills, primary weapons and specialization are somewhat up to you, but as a few suggestions. For weapons. Firstly, White Death is nice for longer range engagements. Next, Classic M1A can be nice for a similar situation, but a more run and gun feel. And finally, M870 will deal more damage than the Regulus, which can enable one shots of bosses in heroic and legendary missions. For skills, the Bulwark Shield can be nice for staying alive and ensuring vigilance isn't lost. The Striker Shield can be a nice damage buff if you run Firewall. Foam can be good to keep adds still while you're stacking. And the Demo Firefly can be good to crack chungas. For specialization, Rap Shooter can be nice to give your rifles and MMRs some extra headshot damage. Gunner can be used for some armor on kill to boost survivability, and Technician can be used to give your shield and skills a slight boost due to its intrinsic plus one skill tier attribute. So that covers off the core build and some options for weapons, specializations, and skills. So before moving on to the next build, let's look at exactly what this build excels at. I briefly mentioned earlier that this build is basically solely used due to the ability to run Dodge City Gunslinger's holster to one-shot entire spawns in one bullet, which is this build's USP. For this reason, this build does really well up to heroic two-man scaling, but is only truly the best option if you desire or require the ability to one-shot spawns and have low enough HP enemies that you can actually get the stacked headshot kill. For legendary, there are better options which I'll cover next. So next up, the build that only recently became popular but already holds legend status, Headhunter's Fury. This is the build that players use to complete legendary strongholds in just 7 minutes in a 4-man group and 10 minutes solo. Hunter's Fury is a gear set intended to be used with SMGs and shotguns that grants a mark to all enemies within 15 meters of the player. Once a marked target is killed, 5% amp damage is granted to the player and all enemies within 5 meters are disoriented. In addition to this, it has an intrinsic 20% armor on kill attribute for survivability. All of this stuff perfectly suits the face tanking playstyle the Regulus Headhunter strives for, and this gives the pistol frankly stupid amounts of damage. Whilst a full stack shot on the high end version will be around the 12 to 14 million mark solo, a full stack shot in this build will be nearly 23 million. The build is simple and as follows. Four pieces Hunter's Fury rolled for headshot damage. The Chain Killer Chest for perfect headhunter with headshot damage and weapon handling. Providence Vigilance Backpack rolled for headshot damage and weapon handling. The weapons are two MH70s of any variant with pummel. As this gear set is a close quarters one, you'll want to control all engagements to be in close range, thus running a sniper or other long range weapon is pointless. The go-to specialization for this build is Firewall, due to the shield and subsequent buff, but some variations and activities can benefit from Technician and a Bulwark Shield. Let's cover off some variations within this build. Firstly, the Backpack. There are two variations which can occur here. If you need more shield tankiness, you can run Memento. This does come at a loss to damage, especially when you're gaining memento stacks, but the extra shield health granted can, in some situations, be the difference between life or death. The second variation stays with Providence, but instead of Vigilance utilizes Concussion. This variation is pretty niche, it's used solely in legendary missions where Chungus Stinger Hives would cause nearly no uptime on Vigilance. Next, the chest. Some players like to run a DNH Headhunter chest for this build, as it will give slightly higher pistol damage at max stacks, at the cost of a bit of stack acquisition speed. It's a viable piece, but not one that I personally run all that often. As mentioned earlier, this build is best for close quarters combat, those where you need lots of damage, or those where you're simply maining the Regulus. As such, it's the best in slot Regulus build for most activities. So that covers off the most used talent, aka Headhunter, but what about other talents? We know how to one-shot enemies and bosses in situations where we can stack, but what if we can't? And what if we need even more damage, for instance to one-shot raid bosses? Enter Perfect Glass Cannon. This is a talent that can be used to form an advanced raid build, aiming mostly at headshot damage to maximize damage to an Achilles mark. This build consists of the following. Punch Drunk Mask, rolled for headshot damage and weapon handling, with a headshot damage mod, the Sacrifice Name Chest for Perfect Glass Cannon, rolled for headshot damage and weapon handling with a headshot damage mod, 
Dodge City Gunslinger's holster, an IRLD Vigilance backpack rolled for headshot damage and weapon handling with a headshot damage mod, IRLD gloves rolled for headshot damage and weapon handling, and finally Fox's prayer knee pads rolled for headshot damage. The specialization will be whatever the team needs to maximize damage buffs, or if there are spare specializations in the team, sharpshooter for the increased headshot damage with rifles. The weapons will be a classic M1A with Rifleman, then either a Rifleman M1A CQB or an Optimist FAMAS. Again, there are some variations within this build dependent on your specific use case. The most common variation, if you care less about Achilles points and more about general ad clear, is to run Contractor's Gloves rolled for headshot damage and a Walker and Harris backpack rolled for vigilance, headshot damage and weapon handling. There are other variations, but mostly they'll just do a worse job than their counterparts. The Contractor's Nairadi builds are both the best at doing what they set out to do. As briefly touched on earlier, this is typically a raid build for raid bosses with heads. Obviously headshot damage is worthless if there isn't a head to hit. You can run it elsewhere, but it won't perform as well as headhunter variants. Hopefully this video has given you a good overview of the best builds for the Regulus, alongside information of when to use which build. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.